So today's video is actually gonna be starting with a story time. So last week I actually went vintage shopping here in LA and so you know I was after those Harley Davidson kind of t-shirts and I was like okay I mean those are really pretty I just really want one let me try and find one that I really like and so I obviously went to some stores here in LA however I was really 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 surprised to find out that those t-shirts can get anywhere between $30 to $100 and we're speaking vintage here so meaning somebody else wore it before me this t-shirt can be you know 20 years old 30 years old 40 years old who knows and I kind of find it ridiculous to pay $100 for a t-shirt that somebody else wore before and that is so old that I just you know want to style I guess in a nice way and just wear it I don't know it was really ridiculous to me so I was kind of like mm-hmm maybe not not today and I have to figure out some ways to DIY some vintage t-shirts myself so that I can you know still be shikiriki and all this kind of jazz so today this is what we are gonna be doing so without further ado let's just get into this video So as you guys realize, today we're actually not going vintage shopping. Today we're actually going to be DIYing some vintage items. And so for that, I'm actually going to be going to Joanne. Hopefully she's not going to be scamming me today because, well, if you know what I mean by scamming as Joanne the scammer. Yeah, that was supposed to be a joke, but never mind. Anyway, what I mean by that is that sometimes I'm going to be going to Joanne and I'm just going to find items for absolutely no reason for $100. So that doesn't make any sense but anyways right now we're gonna go there and hopefully we can find some goods if you know what I mean by goods and yeah this is really starting to get really weird so right now we're just gonna go okay you guys so be very honest how lucky do you actually feel when you stop next to a meter and it is actually green so this one literally have like almost two hour in and I'm like I'm just living I'm not even gonna lie I'm living As always, the first thing you're obviously going to be needing is going to Google to Google the items that you actually want to print on your t-shirt or in this case, obviously on an A4 paper. So this is going to be some of these prints that I choose. So it's like, you know, the Harley Davidson sign, the logo, whatever is it that you want to call it. And then you can see there are plenty more other options to play with. So it really just depends on what you want. And then from here, I go ahead and I just printed them out, as I was saying, after I measure them in Photoshop and play with the size a little bit. And then from here, we're going to move into the other things that you guys are going to be needing. So besides of those two prints that you just printed, you're going to be needing the next items. So you're going to be needing a shrink wrap paper that you can buy at a dollar store if you don't have one. You will also need like a parchment paper. So this is also th something that you probably have at home. So nothing crazy. Scissors, of course, as you can see, nothing fancy here as well. And iron, of course, uh, make sure it doesn't do it with the steam. And then last thing last is obviously the t-shirt. So those ones were only $3 each at the Joanne store after the discount. And then from here, all I'm doing pretty much is just cutting the A4 paper. Nothing fancy here. Once again, this is just like a very basic thing to do. Just make sure that when you do cut them, they are like straight because this one wasn't as straight as I thought it would be. So this was kind of, you know, sucks, but it is what it is. I didn't care because this was like, as I was saying, three dollars so it's not you know such of a big deal okay so now i'm actually going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks on how to do it the right way because trust me it took me a while so make sure you're just like listening to me before you do it so that you're not ruining too many t-shirts anyways as you can see you're just going to take the a4 paper and then you're just going to make sure that you wrap it really well with that shrink paper as you can see right here 
I took the sides that I had and I kind of like fold it together making sure I have no bubbles whatsoever and that everything is pretty straight because let me tell you it's only a paper so if it's not straight it's gonna be like a wavy kind of a thing a situation really so that's not a vibe from here I took my ruler my meter whatever is it that you want to call it I know it has a name but now I forgot I'm sorry for that I really hate doing like those voiceovers by the way but anyways I was wanting to make sure that it's straight you know like me haha and there you have it and you want to make sure that it's like you know matching and all this kind of stuff from here you're gonna take your parchment paper real quick just like you know the kind of sheet that can cover that and then from here you're gonna lay it over without the meter underneath and that is pretty much it you're gonna take your iron make sure you're not using a steam iron by the way so there's that you're just gonna make sure you're doing it for like about five minutes until the shrink paper completely completely gone it's time for the big reveal and as you can see after five minutes of ironing this into my t-shirt tum ta -da -dum, there you have it my very new I guess kind of vintage t-shirt is here you guys and honestly it's kind of look like brand new from the store not gonna lie but it is looks pretty well and I'm absolutely obsessed with that it is I mean everything so there is that as you can see I'm folding it as if it's into stores and now we're gonna move into the second t-shirt and basically all I'm doing is the exact same thing now the only thing that I'm showing you this is because I did wanted to say something about that as well so with a bigger print it's just gonna be a little bit more problematic just because there are more of a chance that you're gonna have more bubbles and there is a slight more chance that you're gonna be you know kind of like making waves on the actual print so this print I actually did it twice so just so you guys know that you can actually make it at once it's not that hard trust me and as I was saying you can make any t-shirt pretty much but then again you can see the first time didn't went well so I was actually able to take the print off and to reuse it so just make sure that you just like kind of check it like you know like in between I guess if you don't feel it's like okay and there you have it once again after a few minutes we have a tum ta -da -dum, a brand new vintage t-shirt you guys So that is the first t-shirt and as you can see I am not mad at it at all. Honestly I was kind of thought that you know the material will be like not so pleasantly on the body to be honest to be fair but I am very much surprised so hey Joanne hey I feel like it's the first time you didn't actually scam me and uh yeah but other than that I decided to pair it with this you know Levi's short Levi's like vintage kind of vibes so that we can go ahead and take some cute pictures for the gram so we're gonna be doing that also obviously I'm going to try the other t-shirt as well as I was saying even though the fabric is really good and feels really nice if you do want to make it a little bit softer than that you definitely can do that and all you have to do is pretty much like brine your own t-shirt and that is like really really easy I can probably you know put the recipe in the end of this video if you guys would like Mm, I guess you can't really answer that question now so I guess I'm just gonna be doing that and that is it honestly I just wish I had a bike right now just so that I can be in this you know biker babe mode for this t-shirt and this outfit do you guys see how freaking cute that is honestly I'm not gonna be surprised if I'm gonna stop a person in the street here in LA just to be like hello excuse me can I take a picture with your bike just you know for the gram or whatever but anyways look how cute this t-shirt looks like and also just so you guys know this jacket was from misguided it's not like a real letter obviously but then look at this print how flipping cute that is I'm absolutely obsessed this is definitely not the last t-shirt that I'm going to make and as you know I mean if you obviously have your own t-shirt in your own house which is like plain t-shirt and you just want to like upgrade it or do whatever you can definitely definitely do that and make your clothes look different and all this kind of jazz and that is pretty much it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below here also feel free to follow me on my instagram at glam by roxy and i will see you guys on my next video bye